Okay, we need to use the x factor to find the factor so we can find the roots. And we put 8 at the top because 1 times 8 gives us 8. Then negative 6 at the bottom. What will multiply to 8 that will add to negative 6? And that is going to be something dealing with 4 or 2. Um, but I need a positive 8 when I multiply, but a negative 6 when I add. That means they both need to be negative. Okay. And normally I would take this number and divide, but because it's 1, I'm done. So we take these two and we set them equal to 0 to find our roots. Plus 4 plus 4. Plus 2 plus 2 and I have my roots. Okay, so now that I have my roots, I want to check them using quadratic formula. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. My a was 1, my b is negative 6, and c is 8. So this would be negative, negative 6, negative 6 in parentheses squared minus 4 times 1 times c which is 8 all over 2 times 1 and you can use your calculator to check um, get the answer for this if you can't do it by hand which is control divide open parentheses um, negative then open parentheses negative 6 plus the square root of negative 6 and then square it on the outside minus 4 times 1 times 8 all over 2 times 1 and I get it 4. I go back up and highlight it, bring it down and change that to a minus sign and I get it 2. So these two are correct and I use the quadratic formula to check it. By hand that would be 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 32 all over 2 which is 6 plus or minus the square root of 4 over 2 and the square root of 4 becomes 2 so this breaks it into 6 plus 2 over 2 6 minus 2 over 2 which is 8 over 2, which is 4, and then 4 over 2, which is 2. So that's by hand. You saw it on the calculator. On the next video, you will see me take all of this information and graph it.